Good afternoon, everybody. I join this Travis Gunther. Today is Monday afternoon, March the 11th, 2019, the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, today is the start of my five part series on I'm Passionate About. Today, part one is I'm Passionate About the Philippines. That's right, guys. I am so passionate about the Philippines. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Some of you might, might be thinking, yeah, I figured that already. already. I figured that. Philippines. The answer is yes. I am so passionate about the Philippines. When I went there in 2016, I had no idea what God would do in this, in this at all. I had no idea. I had no idea. I went there in 2000, like, 2016, as I, as I have previously stated in my other vlogs, to visit my fiance. Well, girl, well, well, at the time she was my girlfriend, and now she's my fiance. And as soon as I landed there in the air, in the airplane, in the airport, I realized that God was going to do something amazing. I didn't know what He would do. I just knew that knew that He was going to do something amazing. And yeah, I got off the airplane and I just knew He put a fire in my heart and in my soul for the Philippines and the people. I'm so passionate about about their language, their food, their culture. In fact, that's one of the one things I love about the Philippines is their culture. And as I have stated in my previous other vlogs before, my the culture there is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's it's wonderful. It's it's a different pace of life. It's a slower pace of life, and there's just things there that I can't fathom. The food there is absolutely amazing. The people there, the culture, the smells, the just just the whole community in general. Especially if you live in the province area. The province area, I think, is the best place to live because it has so much. The, everything there is much quieter. It's, it's much more quiet, not quieter. Much more quiet than in the city. In the city, you have the you know the the noise of the buses. Buses, the pollution, the the car, cars honking, people yelling, screaming, all that stuff. But if you go to the province area in the Philippines, guys, it's just incredible. I mean, there's over seven thousand seven hundred islands to go and see on a daily basis. On a daily basis, so yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm slowly learning Tagalog. Tapos na, that means thank you. And also, and, uh, and some other phrases. And I can't wait for my fiance to get here so that she can teach me more languages. Now, or actually more of her, to, much more of her, of her, to, much more of her Tagalog language. And yes, when we do have kids, we are going to raise them to be both English speaking and also Tagalog speaking as well. So yeah. Guys, if you've never been over to the Philippines, let me just highly encourage you. See my other vlogs about basically how to get there, what to do when you get there, what type of things you need to do when before you get there, what type of travel, things like that. So, guys, I'm telling you, go to the Philippines for at least one to three weeks. I've gone there twice, and I've stayed there for two weeks, and it is absolutely amazing. I mean, and the weather there is always warm. I mean, they stay around the 80s, but pretty much year-round. Year round is about it's about 80 degrees year round, and guys, you're not gonna you're not gonna you're you're not going to regret it. I highly encourage you go to the Philippines. Okay, so guys, if you like this, first of all, guys, if if you are new to this vlog, welcome. Vlogger number actually, I I just got my 97th 97th subscriber yesterday, so I'm three away from hitting 100. That's just amazing. So guys, if you are new to this channel, welcome. And and for my fault and for all the other subscribers, you know what to do: like, share, subscribe, hit the like button, give me a comment. You can share this on on your on your. On, you can share this video on on your Twitter account if you want to, and just whatever. So guys, okay, have a great day. God bless, and remember, you are loved by God. Have a great day and live for His glory. God bless everybody, and I'll see you Wednesday. God bless.